Hey guys, uh, welcome back and uh, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at um, stopping the bullets uh, from living forever basically and um, we're going to go about that by um, adding some more to our script. So let's get stuck in, um, open up our script and we will um, start off with adding a new function. Now this one is going to be a start function. So it's function, and then with a capital S start, um, it's a little f, uh, 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 lowercase f, um, and then open bracket, close bracket, and then open a squiggly bracket, and then uh, close that later on as well. And then uh, what we want to add in there um, is a yield, a way to, a way to add a yield, um, and we can't add that to the start function itself, and we can't add that to the update. Now the start function gets called right at the beginning once the object what object is created, and it will only ever get called again if you put it in the script to be called. Um, so this is a way to make something only happen once, um, like making an object kill itself. So let's add another function that we're going to create ourselves, and we're going to call this one a wait. So um, we'll just write wait and then open bracket, close bracket, and then a semicolon. And then we want to add another function at the bottom. Um, it doesn't really matter whether it's at the bottom, but it can't be inside another function. So we'll call this one function wait. Um, it can be called anything you want, um, as long as you match the name of the function from the start to the name of the function at the end. And then um, we'll open the brackets and close them, and then the squiggly ones as well. Um, Okay, and then inside there we're going to put yield with a lowercase y, and then uh, wait for seconds um, with capital letters for the start of each word, and the whole, all three words are put into one, um, like like it is there. Um, and then we need open bracket, close bracket, and semicolon. And inside those brackets we're going to put a, an amount of time um, to pe uh, relative to the seconds, so um, we, we want two seconds, so we'll put two seconds there. We can change that whenever we want when we come back into the script. Um, so what's going to happen now is it's going to start off, um, the minute the object is created, it's going to call that function, and then it will call the wait function within because because that's inside the start function. And what that will do, um, let me change that down. And what that will do is that will call the wait function here, which will wait for two seconds, and then it will do the next thing. And the next thing we want it to do is to destroy um, itself. So we'll do that by um, writing destroy with a capital D, um, and then open brackets, close brackets, and then uh, semicolon as well. And then inside those brackets, we want to call its own object. And the way we'll do that is by writing game object with a lowercase g and a capital uh, O and what that's going to do is destroy the object that this script is attached to and only that object so instead of destroying every object that is made from the same prefab which would be say if we were to use the the shoot bullet here if we were to use the variable like projectile there and use that in in this script and use the variable there. It will destroy all the objects that are instances of that variable. Um, and we don't want to do that. We only want to destroy the one that's there. So we'll, we'll leave that. But the, the other the other way is useful for other things. Um, so we'll save this one now. And then we'll go into Unity and we'll press play. And we'll shoot our, our bullets. And if we look in the hierarchy here, um, it destroys them after two seconds, which is exactly what we want. I don't think the bullets are moving fast enough, so that's what we're going to do now. Um, we're going to just bump up the speed um, to 30. And if we write that in the script itself, it won't put it inside the bullet. It'll leave it at what it was, which was 10. Um, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to now copy the bullet script onto there, and then we'll delete the old one, remove component. So now we've got the 30 speed there. So it moves nice and fast, um, as fast as a bullet, if you will say. Um, exactly how we want it to. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, an object for our bullet to hit into. And actually first, before we do that, it's quite dark in our scene, we'll add a light in there. So we'll go game object, create other, and then a directional light. And what that'll do is, no matter where it is, it will create light uh, coming from one direction, not the band coming from a direction. Um, so we'll, we'll have it like that. And then we'll throw um, our new object that we're going to collide with 
Um, we'll just make a cube, and uh, we'll we'll scale it down a bit. We'll make it like a thin one, um, like that, and we'll pop that near the floor because um, we're going to add a rigid body to it um, now. So we'll go uh, component physics rigid body, and um, that's we we'll just leave it as it is for now. Um, and I'll explain all these later on as well. Um, so let's just hit play. And if we shoot our new object with our bullet, um, they'll pretty much go straight through it. Now, they've both got colliders on, um, so you wouldn't have thought that they would. But because the bullets are moving so fast, um, they shoot straight through the, the wall. Um, and we wouldn't want the bullets to go through the wall anyway. We just want them to destroy themselves. The way we do that... If we open up our bullet script again, we need to add another function. And what we're going to do is do a collision function. So we're going to go function. And actually, no, we won't. We will. Um, I'll show you on, on Google. So if we go on the internet and we search Unity on Collision or something like that, um, you can search whatever you want um, relevant to it, and it will probably come up. So we want our Unity script, script reference like we used before, and then we'll use uh, Collider on Collision Enter. Um, so that's once it once it collides, it will use it will do this thing, um, and we'll copy this bit of script here actually because this looks most like it, or here either either one, and uh, that's our function. So we'll pop that in here. So it's function on collision enter uh, with capitals at the start of each word, um, and then we can call our own variable in here. And what that variable is is it's the other is the object we collide with. So we can um, mess around with the object we collide with. Um, from within the script of our own object. Um, but what we're just going to do is destroy game object, just like we did before. Um, so when our bullet hits the wall, it kills itself. Um, so let's let's play that again. Um, I wouldn't expect this to completely work, because um, sometimes um, Unity can't pick up the collision as well. Um, but like at the moment... Majority of them are hitting, and uh, they make the they make the object wobble, which is nice. Um, and we can actually make it fall over. Now, um, that can be useful for all kinds of terrain things. And if we don't want our objects to um, wobble, we can always remove that rigid body. Um, but for now, we'll I'll keep that in there. Um, and actually, I think we'll end this episode now. Um, and then the next episode I'll go into adding crosshairs and um, possibly uh, making some uh, little bits of ball breaking off uh, so it, it looks nice. Um, so thanks for watching this one. Um, I hope it's helped uh, with sorting out the shooting. And um, I'll see you next time. And in a couple of episodes time we will go over jumping as well, um, which is uh, quite a difficult one. So um, I hope you with that. It's 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 easy with other with built-in tools, but um, creating your own script it can have a few problems um, with being able to like fly and things. So uh, we'll look at that, and I'll I'll go over some ways to get around it. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode.